Hello friends, this is Shivam and you are watching the 14th tutorial of this series of data analysis using Python and in this tutorial we will be seeing how to generate a word cloud using the text data. The text data that we are using in this tutorial is basically a, a book of Shakespeare and we will be generating a word cloud based on that and so first of all we need to import the required libraries so first of all we will be importing the basic library that is import with the help of import function import os and import matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot the pyplot is plt and we will be importing the word cloud package the word cloud package from from word cloud word cloud 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 import word cloud so these are the packages that will be that we will be needing in this tutorial so now we have to load the data set load the data and uh, to the data first of all we need to check the directory we need to set the the path directory so we will be defining the we will be changing the directory with the help of os.csdir command and we will be since the data set is present on the desktop so we will make the home directory as the data as the desktop as the desktop so now now the text data we will be importing the text data with the help of open command and open command and uh, with the help of open command and it is the shakes peer you can see that on the, we have the following txt file on the desktop and we will import it for read purpose so we have given the r argument and now we have opened we have opened the text data now we will see we will load the data and see what it looks like so with the help of we will just uh, we will just try to read this data so let use the text text we will use the read command we will use the read command and it will just read it now let's see how the data looks like what it is now it might take some time because it is a big book so let's print it out now since the it, it might take some time because the data set is quite large and uh, it is basically a book of the Shakespeare and it might take some time so within the time let us, let us just see let us just open the data with the help of the notepad this is the format of data this is the data so it is basically a, a whole book how much big it is so it is taking some time to load this data and uh, the data is basically raw data and uh, we will just print a word cloud based on this data and let's not check yes yeah now you can see that it has loaded the data and uh, print it so now to generate the word cloud we need to we need to first of all we will we need to generate the word cloud we will define a comment I will also provide the link to this I to, to this notebook or at the bottom of the tutorial at the in, in, in the description you can see that and now you see it's taking time and its server is busy so let's wait for it 
because the data is quite large and it's taking quite time now to generate a word cloud we will be just needing the matplotlib and we will be needing the word cloud generate dot generate command and then we will set the uh, various arguments to plot the word cloud so it is just taking some time I don't know why and uh, let us wait for it okay we are just waiting come on yeah so so now we have no we will we will we will use the matplotlib command matplotlib inline command to tell the ipython that we want the outcome in the same in the same cell and here it we have given it now we will plot the figure we will plot the figure or we will plot the word cloud so plt dot figure dot figure and first of all we will define the figure size the fig size is equal to we will take it to 20 comma 10 we want it to a big data and uh, so now now let's create the word cloud let's create the word cloud using the word cloud dot generate command yes word cloud and we will define the argument such as the background color such as the background color we will take it as white yes and we will define the mode and mode of color let us do it to RGB red green blue and yes now now we will def we can define some width width is equal to 2000 and height height although we have defined the fixed size but we can also do it by here giving the arguments over here now we will use the generate command use the generate command and we will give the data to it now we want to add the we, we can add the uh, title to this we can add the title to this word cloud we will give the title as Shakespeare text word cloud Shakespeare text word cloud word cloud now we will sh tell the tell it to show it over here with the help of plt dot im show command and we will just put the word cloud inside it and we will also plot the axis to off plt dot axis to off and now we will ultimately use the plt dot show command to display the word cloud it might take some time because the data set that we are using over here is quite a large amount of data as you have seen that that the, the time it took to load the data was quite and quite large time and now to generate the word cloud again it will take some time so let us wait for the word cloud to come so this is the way to generate a simple word cloud using the python and using the word cloud package so here it is here is the word cloud you can see that here it is the beautiful word cloud that we have just created. data set from the text data set that we used shakespeare.txt file you can see that these are the words the length of the word describes their frequency so you can see these are the common words come, go, now, very basic story on building a word cloud so now now let us summarize that what we did we just imported the required libraries and then we just imported we just loaded the data set which was a 6 dot txt data set we just 
opened it with the help of open command then we just read it and then we generate a word cloud using the matplotlib command so this is the word cloud i hope you understand and uh, this was very quite useful for you and thanks for watching